follow our social media handle at Haitian Ladies Network. Go to our website, make sure that you sign up for the mailing list so that if you're not on social media or you take a social media break, you don't miss any of the great content that we're curating all the time. We've been working with these organizations. Um, we've been working with the Haiti Bridge Alliance. We put on uh, programmatic events throughout the year. This isn't the only thing that we do. So, um, but we can't do anything without money, which is one of the many themes that you heard today. And um, I'd like to, as a result, invite our sponsor from Fondation Connaissance et Liberté Focal, um, Elizabeth Pierre-Louis, to say a few words. I did yoga today. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ladies. It's hard to finish the day. I'm Elizabeth Pialwi, Program Director, Fondation Connaissance et Liberté. So you heard a lot about Open Society Foundations. It's our main um, donor, but we receive also um, funds from um, the French uh, Development Agency as well as the European Union. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to listen to all of these amazing ladies. Some are my friends, some are people I know for a long time, and people I have discovered here as well. In nining your power, the power is political. And politics is not about being at a party. Politics is about a situation that you want to change and you're engaging in it. And I want to thank all of the Haitian ladies. Um, I want to have a shout out for Ariel, who's not here, who introduced me to you guys. <laughs> I miss her very much, and um, she last year introduced us, and we are very pleased to be in this partnership. And I wanted to say also, we live in Haiti, we live abroad, we're still Haitian, and this is something that we really, really need to work on. You leave, you're still Haitian, you're in Haiti, and we know that we can count on a community, and that's what we need to build and to continue to work on. So thank you very much. Thank you. I forgot, I have this earring here. If anybody's missing an earring, see me. Wanna make sure you, you know, stay fabulous, although you already are. So I have that here. Um, so thank you, uh, one of our sponsors. The rest of our sponsors are listed here. The next person I'd like to bring up is not a sponsor, but uh, to give special remarks from Replenish 509, Regine René Labrossier. La Labrousse. Sorry. She did yoga today, too. <laughs> That's right. We're not scared of the stairs. Uh, thank you so much. Um, very happy to be with you ladies today. The energy that you ladies bring, the Haitian Ladies Network, is not only powerful, it also motivated me or kind of gave me that last boost, that last kick to create my own firm, which is Replenish 509. So ladies, take the credit. <laughs> you know, um, so I'm originally from New Orleans uh, and I've been living in Haiti for the past 11 years. Um, 11 years, it's flown by very quickly. Um, I started as public affairs officer at the U.S. Embassy, so educational and cultural programming, the fun part of the work, as we used to say. And I did five years um, at Brana Heineken, uh, prestige government affairs, public affairs still. And two years ago, I decided to leave um, because I had enough of the big corporations and the big institutions and really wanted to get involved in something that would really touch the fundamental issues that we face in Haiti. Um, and a lot of it, all, a lot of the issues that we face in Haiti are built around mistrust. Nous pas gain confiance entre nous. You know, we make all these assumptions about the other person and it's like, before we even start talking to the other person, nous gain catégoriser, nous gain mettre un paquet de jugement. And, you know, when I was, uh, when I was really at Heineken, at Prestige, what I noticed, uh, because I did a few years on the board of AmCham um, as the president there, and I really got to know the business community and really trying to understand, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what is going on in our country, and why is it so difficult? It's very hard to do business transparently, respectfully, you know, even trying to get to a level where you're doing a two year plan. If you can do a two year plan in Haiti, yo, <laughs> you deserve a peace medal. 
because the lack of predictability in which we operate in and the challenges, the crises that we face on a daily basis, c'est pas évident to really work and be productive in that setting. So hearing and understanding what's happening, um, and I created my firm, Replenish 509, to really support sector leaders who wanted to do things differently in Haiti, um, who wanted to work on collaborations, work on projects that would really have a stronger social impact than what we've been able to do um, over the past few decades. And I've embarked on quite a few big projects, um, one called Cafou L'Espoir. Um, I'm gonna invite everyone to check out my website, Replenish 509, all the details are there. If I start talking about that, I'm not gonna finish. And I don't want someone waving something at me, so. <laughs> <laughs> to check out that website. But what I really want to talk to you ladies about in the diaspora is this one particular program that I've created with Replenish 509 with my team of hardworking women um, called Connect to Replenish. And so this is a virtual, it's partially virtual and in person professional and cultural exchange program. And what it's shaped to do is really provide that opportunity, that space for professionals in Haiti. So upper level management, CEOs of SMEs, of small businesses, to connect with other leaders and professionals in the diaspora. I mean, I'm sure there are people here in legal sector, in public health, in, in real estate development, in whatever sector it is, I guarantee you the way it functions in Haiti is completely different. Wouldn't you ladies like to know how your sector is evolving in Haiti? So that's exactly what Connect to Replenish is shaped to do. So connecting you ladies out here, matching you, well not just ladies, it's for ladies and men, <laughs> but matching you with professionals in Haiti evolving in the same sectors so that you guys can share best practices, insights, um, and kind of knowledge of how both sectors are evolving and hopefully igniting powers amongst you each other to do other things. Okay, so please check it out, the website, repl uh, replenish509.com. I'm here, I'm available to speak f in further detail if you're interested. Okay, thank you.